Hey guys, what is going on? Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency video and we are back to the bloody days of the market. Going down, I saw XRP approaching that 31 cent mark. We are currently at 32 and a half cents USD and I know it's very disheartening. Look at this, 17 and a half percent down in seven days in a mere week and the whole market is taking a dump. And I know a lot of us are, you know, wondering what the heck is going on. When are when's utility going to kick in? When will this stop being a largely speculation based market? And the truth is, of course, the market's manipulated. There is even a tweet that XRP Neo did recently, and he just asked the question, is this market manipulated? Well, you have a market with extreme volatility that lacks almost all regulation and it's global. What do you think? It's a dream scenario for whales. And I 100% agree, but it can be a dream scenario for us as well. So I just want to remind all of us, you have to see the bigger picture, picture, step back. I use a lot of analogies to make my points, just like the Amazon analogy. When Amazon crashed, when all of these internet companies, because they were too volatile, crashed and they were down to several dollars or pennies, and then Amazon spiked to $2,000, people made money, but a lot of them gave up at the bottom and they sold because they needed instant gratification and they didn't have that foresight. So just remember that please, please, please always do your own research and invest only what you're you know, willing to lose or forget about. And if this is bothering you, just sell. I, I mean, so be it. But I wholeheartedly believe that utility will kick in. I've been showing partnerships, documents day in and day out on this channel. So please just do your own research and check it out. Right here, shared by Easy at ERST69 on Twitter. Another point was Tether was just printed. This is the stablecoin USDT. And for those of you that don't know, every time a massive, massive amount of Tether is printed, the market either inflates or deflates. It either goes up in value like crazy, like a bubble for no point, or it'll go down. And obviously, this was you know, a day or so ago, and we're seeing what's happening. The market is bleeding. There's a huge amount, $100 million of Tether was printed out of thin air. I do not touch Tether anymore. I'm not risking it. I think, you know, it's not legitimate. And I think that you could potentially get burned if you try to play with this. If I use a stable coin, I might, you know, go into something a little more reliable. I do not want to tell you what I use because I don't want to refer any, but Tether, yikes. So, we see the markets coming coming down. Is this temporary? Ideally, yes, but we will see. Because obviously, as these indicators are showing, everybody's getting more and more bullish as the day passes. Right here, shared by Marion at Marion underscore XRP underscore Hodel for the newbies to XRP. Seven trillion dollars is the market capitalization of gold. The entire market is seven trillion. The vast majority of you all won't buy XRP until it hits that point. Moral of the story is that we are telling you today, mine or buy. And this is true. XRP will be in the trillions of dollars in market capitalization. Remember, it does not mean that $7 trillion actually has to enter into the market. Even if only, you know, a trillion dollars enters the market or is traded on a daily basis in terms of the billions, there's a massive multiplier effect. It's based on the order books. This is not valued like a stock. And I just want to emphasize that. And again, I know I've said this a thousand times, but in case you haven't seen those videos, when the entire cryptocurrency market was valued at 300 billion US dollars, guess how much money was in the market completely to make it valued at that? JP Morgan did a study, approximately only 6 billion, 6 billion net inflow created a market cap of 300 billion. That's a 50x difference. So 7 trillion divided by 50. You tell me. It's not going to take as much money as you think to surpass gold. And gold is just a mere standard of value. XRP has utility and will be solving trillions of dollars of problem or a trillion dollar problem, multi-trillion dollar problem. Anywhere from I've seen figures from 10 trillion to 24 to 27 trillion dollars in idle capital that just sits there and correspondent in different bank accounts. Right here, shared by Stuart XRP. So basically, this gentleman here is just speaking in Malaysia, talking about all of the corridors that are being lit up on a daily basis for Ripple's partners. So we have Japan to Thailand. They can go back and forth, and they are live using SPI Remit or Siam Bank. In India, we're live between the Middle East and India. Um, you know, we have you know the UAE as well there. 
We also have standard chartered customers in Singapore. So the Singaporean dollar can go trade with India at you know their Axis Bank. And basically, they're just emphasizing as liquidity increases, the price will become more, you know, there's going to be more stability that develops in this market. As of now, it's clearly extremely speculative, and it's going to be that way for a while. This is still the transition to the utility based market. We are still in the connectivity phase of this multi step approach that Ripple is implementing. This is not like another digital asset. If you want a 10x now and then go to zero the next day, this investment is not for you. This XRP is to build wealth, to create a legacy for your family and increase your net worth. This is a true opportunity. And again, if you want to you know, take a portion and trade, be my guest. I've gotten burned in the past and I don't plan to do that anymore. I'm just being patient. And I know we have a lot of young guys in the market, but you have to change your expectations because trading all of this, you shouldn't be upset. You shouldn't lash out at people if XRP goes down. That just means you're overinvested. All right. The right here is shared by Matt at Matthew Linney tagging us in this. This is really cool. So right here, we have the National Association of Federally Insured Credit Unions. And right on their website, Together at Last, Blockchain and Same Day, ACH Case Study. We're getting more and more recognition here, and this is big. Now we got Easy Forex as well. For those of you that don't know, Easy Forex is massive. They provide foreign exchange to banks, you know, bankers, banks, credit unions, corporate credit unions, using different technology. It's basically just a enhanced way to provide seamless foreign cash needs to financial institutions, FIs, that's compliant and secure. And we got Ripple as one of the primary partners. You can also recognize some of these other names as well. And as we move on, managing complexity, we have Amazon, Google, Uber, Alibaba in the center. We're showing all of this. We're showing the receipt, the standards here on the right. It's very good to see this adoption happening. And we know that Ripple is a massive partner today. All right. And then who is Easy Forex? Look at these partners. U.S. government and 4,000 plus financial institutions. The international transfers, Fed, Global, ACH, and blockchain. And Ripple is a listed partner. There's no other digital assets or blockchain companies like Ripple that are listed here. They are side by side with credit unions, FIs, and banks. This is massive. All right, so we can go through this thread really quick. So it's older, but again, he just wants to emphasize what's going on in the XRP ecosystem. A lot of these other guys that are great researchers tend to agree. And we are, you know, barely scratching the surface. So please, please, please. Do not lose faith. I'm trying not to be a hype channel, but you guys have to realize you are invested in something that is superior to gold and will, in my opinion, long term, be well over that value. And if you don't believe it, that's fine. But the people that you know have successful lives are the ones crazy enough to believe that it can happen. And I'm not, I promise you, I'm not delusional. I can be skeptical, but you know what? It's more fun to live life with wonder because great things can happen. So guys, I'll do another video later. I don't want this to go too long and we'll see where the market goes. If we are dropping, I know I've been saying this for a long time, it's going to create a bigger upside in the end. The longer that we're coiling up, the higher and harder we are going to spring up when it's time. Um, right here, actually, I wanted to go over this briefly. So this was shared by TD.Crypto on Twitter. And he was just basically going back and forth with the wake, Mr. Level Up. And they're just talking about this. So we are we converged back here before this massive bull run. We saw that spike of XRP hitting, you know, almost four dollars. And now we're converging again. This never actually converged. So now we're converging again. And what's converging? I'm talking about, you know, the price of BTC and then the US dollar price of XRP. And we are converging. I'm not sure if we've quite touched yet. I'll have to zoom in on this chart. But guys, we have big, big things ahead. All of the TA, and I know TA doesn't mean anything in this type of market, but you know what? Patterns still do exist and you have to pay attention because everything is an algorithm if you decide to see it that way. So guys, with that, hit that like button. Let's see how we do in this video and I'll see you in the next one.